thing yesterday I did share whereby yesterday it was Valentine's Day and many people are during that time of the month on the 14th. They are had, they are going through the most. I've been there through as well, through the most. I remember when I was in tertiary, one of my ex-boyfriend said they'll come for, they'll take me out and then we'll go together for Valentine's. And the guy never pitched and I was so sad and it was painful. And most people were going through that being given me false promises, someone not pitching up and not being upfront with them whether they love them because they chose someone else but it would have been great if they told me Elia could have done something else and what we used to do there was I finished Tisha that was about 22 years ago so with my friends uh, we'll just say ah oh, it's okay we used to I used to stay in Uville no it was in Berea in one of the flats when I was studying and you say, no, let's walk, let's go and get wine, then we'll drink wine and dance the night away and we'll sing a song. I know that you hate me, but it's all right, it's all right. And then after that, ah, we move on. But the pain will be there and those memories will be there. But that one, we learned, I learned that ah, you have to move on, not everyone loves you. And being Valentine's Day yesterday, it was one of those days where some people didn't get gifts. So no one told them that they loved them and was just encouraging people that it's important to love ourselves. And at times we might find that it's a cliche to tell someone love yourself. It's true you need to love yourself because you cannot give from an empty cup. And we've been taught to delegate our love to other people, which I've done. I used to buy love and I'm learning to love myself on a daily basis because it's a process. It's a journey that one goes through. You have to learn and unlearn so many things in life and be the better version that you are. So today I feel like let's talk about being courageous and it goes, it goes hand in hand with self-love as well because one would ask, what does being courageous or have the, have the courage is basically being brave and is doing something that you are frightened to do. And as well, it could be something that is to have the strength to face pain or grief. And in life, you have to be courageous of who you are. And it goes with self-love because if you know who you are, you'll be courageous in making those tough decisions. You'll be courageous to to face your fears and you'll be courageous to take responsibilities about your actions, your behaviors and the things that you do, you won't be blaming others and you'll be able to make decisions that are scary to you. And having the courage is one of the key ingredients in, in terms of self-love and one of them is being vulnerable so it's being courageous being vulnerable and accepting and accepting yourself for who you are is so amazing um I've, I've seen people have got issues with body image I, I had issues with body images it comes and goes as well which i'm learning I went to this spinning class and our instructor was this voluptuous woman who's so confident and she just dressed to her body and it, it was just so amazing. And the day before I met one of my friends who was, who've got, was, was not big, but they were not happy with their body. So it comes in different ways. That is why it's important not to judge a book by its cover. You see the, person how they are and self-confidence comes into play with having that courage and at times we define self-confidence based on our skills and experiences but it's quite important it also defines being happy with who you are from within being happy with being successful some people will have a lot of money and they are wealthy but inside they are struggling they are not happy with themselves they live a double life from the outside, it just shows that fleshy life. So I wanna encourage you to be bold enough. So today I'd like you to list things that you love about yourself, five things that you love about yourself. 
I gave a similar exercise it's in one of my courses, the self-love course. It's a seven-day course that I have. One client of mine said, I don't know. When you ask me that question, I don't know what are the things that I love. I wrote them, but I can't elaborate and, and expand what I mean. And it just shows that the person over time, they've been hurt. They don't know who, them, who they are. They've lost their confidence. They are living in fear. They don't know what is so good about them. And everybody is so valuable in this life. And you're always a VIP. So I had to send a note and explain that they need just to block themselves, forget about the world and take a few deep breaths and say, and write and just think about the person that they are to forget about their problems and write those five things that they love about themselves. So that is what I want to challenge you to do. And then one, once you have done that, share that with someone that you, you love, who you care about, or someone who's your cheerleader. Or if you are bold enough, you can even share it into your timeline if you're on social media or on your WhatsApp on your Instagram, or you can also share it and tag me. i like to see what you have written. And then after that, be confident, be courageous, take that courage and ask them, what are the things that they love about you? You'll be so surprised. At times we worry about things. We create our own madness in our head and we just worry about things that doesn't matter. But when you ask that question, you feel you will receive the feedback. Feedback helps us to grow, helps us to be better, and it will inspire you, it will motivate you to do more. You'll be so amazed about it. It removes the, the blinds that you have of saying, I'm this bad person and other people are just seeing some greatness within you. So ask them, what is it that they love about you? And put that list somewhere. And on days when you're feeling like the world is crashing on you, you don't love yourself, you're just feeling sad and you need to boost that self-love that you need for yourself. Look into that list and, and read it and just motivate yourself as well. And another thing that you can do is at times when we are faced with something, we are so scared and we always have that doubt talking. It's normal, so always challenge your doubt. And also on top of that list, on a daily, just if you can, if you can't do it daily, do it in weekly or monthly, just write all the things that, all the successes that you have had during that time could be a week or a month and all the failures and see what can you learn from the failures and failures means you can redo it differently. You can ask for help and you can ask someone to assist you. And another thing that I love, love, love so much for me, the moment I hear when my eyes open, it's just to affirm myself and say, I am beautiful, I am great, I'm a goddess, I am love. And then also you can add and that I, I choose peace, I choose love, I choose happiness and other things. Those are the things that I normally tell myself when I wake up. And if you do those things for that, create that habit for more than 21 days, it becomes part of you because Normally 95% of what we do is run by our subconscious mind. So we are creating a new habit. We are creating new neural paths of saying when I wake up or when I step out, out of my comfort zone or out of my house or wherever I am, this is who I am. And you can feel it vibrates through and people can see that high, high vibration. What do I mean by high vibration? If someone is said, or oh, they are in a foul mood, you can feel them because they are vibrating at a lower vibration. But if someone is happy and they come and smile, you can feel that vibration and you smile. And it's quite important we increase our vibration. Another way of increasing our vibration, you can go outside to nature, sit in the grass, grass and nature that's got high vibration, then you can absorb and create that intention as you're going out there to nature and to the world of saying, um, um, 
receiving this high vibration from. I'm thanking nature for that as well. So I'm encouraging you to live your life courageously. Take, be courageous of how you, you live your life, how you control your life and take control and be successful. Because if you're in control, you are vibrating at a high and you are courageous to face your fears. You are courageous to take responsibilities of your actions, your behaviors and everything else. You'll be happy because you'll be content with yourself. You'll be able to relate with other people at a better way because you'll be authentic. You'll be talking and saying to me, this is who I am. Because when you love yourself unconditionally and you do things and it overflows, you tell the world how to treat you. And someone is looking, you might be having role models who are listening to you wants to be like you and yeah do that and if you can't do that find someone who can encourage you find a buddy or find a coach or listen go to youtube and research issues that you have and listen and find someone but do something that is help readily available to you to assist you so technology is there there are people to listen to and you do have what you call a soul team which is there to support you and to make you be a better version of who you are so you can live your life courageously and still love yourself by taking control responsibility being courageous and also facing your fears our fears are the things that makes us not to to do amazing stuff everybody has got dreams and we want to do things and if you're facing your fears try to deal with them question challenge the fear and the doubt and if you're still struggling to do it by yourself find somebody who's a coach who can help you or an accountability partner who can help you so that we can see the greatness that is within you because you've got value in this world and you've got a purpose. And if you don't know your purpose, find it, start finding it so that you live a fulfilling life. You don't live a life full of doubt and second guessing yourself. Because second guessing yourself, it just shows lack of control of your life. It shows low self confidence and it shows low awareness and on a daily basis we need to grow we need to increase our awareness we need to remove remove like peeling the onion remove all these layers these beliefs all these things which are sabotaging our greatness and another thing that i just want to point out is that for you to be successful you need to control your mindset your mindset is quite key so having a growth mindset is quite key. And I'd say to me, it's impossible to be always positive. Yes, it's impossible to be always positive, but being mindful of that issue. And when you're in a safe space, sitting with your feelings and understand where they are stored in your, in your body. Why are you being triggered? Asking yourself, why am I triggered? What is it saying? What is it that I need to heal? What is it that I need to confront? What is it that I need to do? And if you are still kind to do that by yourself, find help. And as myself, I do have coaching programs as well. I do have the transformation coaching program, which runs for, for three months. And I also have got the personal development program. And there's also the self-love course. That one is a seven day course. And I'm loving what is coming out. It's like, I'm part of the Empowered Women Book Club and most of the ladies are doing the course and on the 25th we'll be having a group coaching call. I'm excited and there's another lady who has booked a, a coaching, my phone is ringing, it's fine, but a coaching session for her friends as part of a gift and we're going to have an afternoon to, together just talking about self-love, empowering ourselves and being courageous and elements of courage, vulnerability and accepting yourself, setting boundaries are part of that and those are part of the things which are on the course and in March on the 2 to the 4th I'll be in Mahalis 
I'll be facilitating a retreat where it's on self-love. I'm so excited. Other retreats will be in June. That will be the KwaZulu Natal one, and then back in Mahalis in September, and then ending in in KwaZulu Natal in November to learn. And there's dance. There's so much to do. We'll be looking at mind, body, your spirit, and your soul. Meditating how to love yourself how to be there, how to bring in the child in you, and also other aspects of self-love, which are beyond the courses that, that is there as well. So if you are feeling like you need an outing, you need to find yourself, you need to rejuvenate, book yourself on those retreats. That will be so amazing. You'll be taken care of. And the month before we even have the retreat, there's pre-work that we do as a, as a group. So there's a WhatsApp group that gets opened, you send the info and you learn from others and you realize the issues that you have in terms of loving yourself, the issues that you have with your confidence, your relationships, it's not only you. So many people have got such issues. So I encourage you, if this message is speaking to you, to, to come to the retreat. If this message is speaking to you and you say you need coaching, to send me a message so you can send me a message or you can you can also send me an email it will be on my on my link on my bio so thank you i just wanted to share that enjoy your day that's me your transformation coach mashudu and love yourself and god loves you so much your creator loves you so much always remember that and take courage in stirring this life that you have because you are in control daily most of the time we spend time with ourselves you spend time with the person in the mirror who is that person in the mirror it's you no one else but it's you so steer your ship, steer your life, ask for help, grow, have that joy, have that inner happiness, be successful and fill it within you, that success, rather than just feeling it from outside, because if you feel it from inside, it will vibrate wherever you are, and you'll change lives by whatever you're doing, and people will like to know what you're doing differently in terms of your life. Hi, Noms, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for, do, for tuning in. Please do share this. And I'd like to hear what was your aha moment from this discussion. And also remember to write those five things that you love about yourself and ask someone to let you know what they love about you. So be courageous. You might be an introvert myself. I'm a natural introvert. Today I did something boldly, which I wouldn't do. I will, if you are following me, go to my Facebook, to my socials. You'll see I posted a video where I'm dancing. Um, I just came back from a retreat. It was a solo retreat. The retreat, it was me, myself, and nature. There was no gadget. There was no phone. My phone was switched off the time I arrived and was only opened four days later, but I really enjoyed time being with myself, facing myself, talking to myself, channeling, listening to the birds, bees, looking at the butterflies flying over you, going through the nature trails. It was so uh, amazing. So do check that video. Check my dance move, it's not perfect, but I feel like let me be vulnerable because steps to self-love is courage is being vulnerable and accepting yourself for who i you are and accept myself for who i am and it has been a journey and i'd like to help you on that journey where you love yourself completely and you accept yourself and you let go of the crap that doesn't suit you we love holding on to crabs which takes out the joy and we miss the moment there's something quite powerful, I'll, I'll always say this in terms of the breath, like the breath that you are taking now, this is the present moment. You don't even remember the breath that you had yesterday and the one you're gonna have in tomorrow. And we tend to live in the past and in the future, we forget to live in the present. So when you're 
feeling anxiety because anxiety is just worrying about the future. When you're feeling that anxiety, take that life force that we have that is the gift of breath and breathe it in. Let it remind you, let it vibrate you through your body and remind you just to be in the present moment and be mindful. And you learn to, to become one of the delegates shared today in the WhatsApp group said, when she was just feeling anxious, they told her how to, to, to breathe properly and her heart rate was connected to the monitor, heart rate monitor. And she could see as she breathes, her heart rate relaxes, goes down. And just for her to see it scientifically, it was just liberating. So when you're stuck, when you're in doubt, just take that life force that we've been given. That is the first thing that we get when we come to earth. And the last thing that we lose, take a deep breath and relax and calm yourself through the chaos of the world. And it will help you throughout the day when you have to make decisions, when you just have to be amazing and when you have to be bold and be courageous. Take that deep breath and feel it. You'd be so amazed. Anyway, thank you so much. That's what I wanted to share. Remember, I still share on the timeline. What was your aha moment? What are the five things you love about yourself? And what did other people say you love about the, about you? So continue creating that list so that it helps you and boost you, boost your self-esteem. And you feel worthy, you feel accepted, and it starts with you. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.